Hello my fellow Brickheads, it is I, Galaxy of Bricks here, and welcome to a, another LEGO video. And today's LEGO video is a LEGO set review, but it is actually um, a LEGO set review with a little bit of a twist. And what I mean by that is, we are going back in time for this um, set review, and we are going back in time to 2015 for this... Set number 75091, which is the Flash Beater. Now, this was released in June of 2015. And when it originally retailed in the UK, it retailed for about £34.99 and had a piece count of about 312 pieces. Now, I've got to say, I'm actually a massive, massive fan of the box art for this. I think the Rebels packaging itself is one of the like my all-time favourite box designs that lego have ever done i think just the aesthetic of it is really good and the image that lego have picked for this set is just truly truly phenomenal i think it really excites you for what you get in this set um so this i picked up on ebay um for about 34 pounds 99 so in about seven years almost its price hasn't changed very much. This was second-hand, but it's fully mint condition in the box. And I got this um, for this on eBay. And I'm actually very much excited with my purchase. I wasn't too sure about whether to take it out of the box or not because of how old it is. And obviously, you know, the older the set is, the more value it has. But one of my friends saw that I got this and was like, you need to open that and review it because it's actually something that nobody's done in a long, long time. And I thought, okay... Why not? So, without any further ado, well, let's get into the set review, shall we? Right, so just a little bit of housekeeping when it comes to this set. As I stated at the start, this released in the UK for about £34.99. So, uh, yeah, £34.99 um, in 2015. And it was in circulation from about the 1st of June 2015 till about the 31st of December 2016. So... It was in circulation for a fair bit, and then obviously it was discontinued and Lego moved on to other things. Um, but here's a little bit of fun trivia for you. When you weigh up the original price of this set, which is about £34.99, and then it's a brick count of 312 pieces, it actually works out at something silly like 11.2 pence a brick or something, which if you count for inflation and various other things and you look at the time lapse and everything, actually isn't bad at all, is it? That's actually quite good. And as I stated, I got this on eBay for £32. So in almost seven years, for a completely brand new in-box version of this, for £32, I mean... It was a no-brainer to pick it up. I'm very much happy with that. Um, it comes with five minifigures, or, well, no, it comes with three minifigures and two other figures, but I will explain to you what I mean by that in a second. So we'll kick things off, and we have got these two guys, which are the standard battle droid um, figures that you get. Because this set is based around Star Wars Phantom Menace... Um, the battle droids were the bad guys and the basically the ground fodder for um, Naboo and the Jedi and things like that for the movie. You know, you got two of these with this set. Um, the overall design of the battle droid hasn't changed at all, if ever, since um, it was released, um, you know, well over 20 years ago. Battle droids have pretty much stayed the same. You know, we've kept the same sort of skeletal frame they kept the same legs the same head the only thing that's changed with battle droids is the arms so years ago you used to get two curved arms like this and then you used to get one of the really old style megaphone blasters with the uh, red stud on it that was what you got then obviously years later they introduced a singular arm like so which allowed you to hold a standard blaster which looks a little bit better um so you get two of these with this set. So these are the um, these are what your good guys are going to be facing in this set, which takes me very nicely onto the other three figures that you get in this set. And you actually get um, quite an interesting selection, to be honest with you. You get Gungan Captain Tarples, um, who is featured in 
the Phantom Menace, not predominantly, but he's in it for a little bit. Um, and he comes with this very dark brown spear, which um, is actually in the movies. It's like an electro spear, but in this, it just looks like a standard throwing spear. Um, I really like the colour scheme on Captain Tarpals. I think the, the lilac and the um, sort of creamy sort of tan sand colour is very nice. I'll just give you a quick look at that one. You know, and I think the body print is really nice. I mean, Gungans themselves, they haven't changed much. We haven't had a lot of Gungans over the years since they released um, a lot of these sets. So... I mean, Gungans haven't changed at all. They've kind of stayed the same. And then we come on to two of my personal favourite figures from this set, which are these two. You have got the um, Naboo Royal Security Officer and the Naboo Royal Security Guard. And in terms of actual figures, I've never seen LEGO release anything since about like this kind of style of figure because obviously this set is based around the Phantom Menace, you don't get many Phantom Menace sets anymore. You get mostly sort of original trilogy or you get like Attack of the Clones or you'll get sort of the sequel trilogies. But to get like actual Phantom Menace figures that look this good is really nice. I think this one, the security officer, is my favourite because I think the overall design is very, very nice. And he also comes with two faces. So you've got his more serious kind of look, which is standard. And then if you turn it round, you get his more sort of angry kind of I'm going to turn you into scrap metal kind of look and that's pretty cool whereas obviously the other security guard just comes with a generic just a generic face and um, they both come with standard blaster pistols and they are two of the very unique figures that you get not just in this set but also in the Lego Star Wars line because as I said before I don't think they've ever released these figures again so they're pretty hard to find now and i really like them i think they're gonna look really nice in my collection um there is an interesting bit of um trivia with this set which is you get captain tarpoles with the two um, naboo security officers who make your sort of good guy characters with this set but when this appears on screen you actually don't see captain tarpoles with it he is somewhere else on the planet of Naboo because this set for those of you who have not seen it is based in the Phantom Menace so there are mild spoilers so please skip ahead maybe the next minute or so um this is based around the liberation of Theed from excuse me the battle droids and the Gungans are another part of the planet whereas the um, Naboo security forces are liberating the pal the palace from the battle droids, Captain Tarpals is with Jar Jar Binks leading the Gungans into battle. He isn't with this speeder. So to have Captain Tarpals as a figure with this set, I mean, it's interesting. It's a very different move to go. Whereas you could have, when this released, you could have had, say, the third variation of Naboo security officer, which you got. Or you could have got one of the name characters. You could have got, say, a Queen Amidala. Or you could have got Captain Panaka himself. Or you could have gotten another one of these guys to go with the set to release Captain Tarpals with it. It's interesting because he's actually not on screen with it when it appears in the um, in the film. But, I mean, it's, it's, it's not a bad thing. It's just I thought it was quite strange. Um, so we'll move on to the actual speeder itself now. And this is the actual speeder design. And I must say, I've never come across a speeder design quite like it. And I'll show you why in a second, but I mean, it's very dark. It's the, the shade of green they've used is quite nice. It's um, one that you don't see very often now. I mean, you can probably get it in a lot of the Lego City or your Marvel or maybe some of your other sub themes. But in a Star Wars theme, a colour like this you don't see very often. And I guess it kind of goes with that kind of grandiose sort of very um, smart, elegant Naboo style that a lot of the Phantom Menace sets have. Um, and you'll see now that to actually get your figures in, you lift it up like so. So it's actually like that is how you let your figures in. You've got um, room for four minifigures, even though you get three good guys, you've got room for four. And I mean, this is actually quite a small um, speeder in the movie. It's not as big as this. It's quite compact. So for Lego to stretch it out and still make it look good, it's very nice, actually, and I think, 
as you can sort of see in the in, in the cockpit and everything, you've got quite a lot of room. So if you're doing a Phantom Menace mark or you're doing something on Naboo, picking this up and using that in your mark isn't a bad thing because you've got room for four figures. So there you go. You've got um, two turrets with flip fire missiles at the sides here, like that, which um, aren't bad at all. These go up like that, which I don't think you actually see them do in the movie, but they go up like this. They go up about 90 degrees here. Um, and then you've also got this rear turret as well, which, again, um, this only this rotates th this rotates all the way around, but it doesn't go it doesn't up like that. And as you can just see, flip fire missile shoots out, and you're good to go. I'll get that in a minute because it has gone uh, across the kitchen table. Um, 312 pieces... The majority of the pieces you get are all in this. I mean, you get a couple of pieces for the figures, but 312 pieces is very well utilised with this. I mean, this is the underside of it. So you've got these little clear round pieces that allow you to sort of push it along a flat surface like that. So for a child at the time, it would have worked very well because you can swoosh it about, you can do things with it, you know. It allows your imagination to run wild. And I think... What I like about it is the fact that it does come with stickers, which I'm not a big fan of, but you only get two stickers, which are the two main in the cockpit ones, which are the top one and this one, and they're actually relatively easy to put on. So for somebody like me with chunky fingers and very little patience to put stickers on, I'm a big fan of that. I think that's worked really well. And the overall design of the speeder itself, I really like because I've never come across it in any of my other Lego sets that I've got which I guess was what drew me to this because I thought the design was quite well done and having built it and the ease of building the speeder itself, it's not something that I can grumble at. I think it's very nice and it's just a shame really that years down the line, we don't get many more sort of Phantom Menace or designs like this because... It isn't a bad little set overall. It's actually very well, um, well, very well designed. The figure selection is quite good, and the movie sequence that it features in, which is um, the liberation of Thebe Palace from the Trade Federation and the droids, isn't something that they do in a lot of Lego sets anymore. It's not even covered in a lot of Star Wars media. Like if you've seen the Phantom Menace, you will know what I'm talking about. If you have not seen the Phantom Menace. Then you won't quite understand. It's, at the time that this was released in 2015, Lego weren't doing a lot of the early prequel sets. They were doing sort of your more original trilogy kind of sets, or they were doing Star Wars Rebels. They weren't doing Phantom Menace. I think mean, they they did another set which was kind of like Duel on Naboo, which was Qui Gon Jinn, Obi Wan Kenobi, and Darth Maul. That was, to the best of my knowledge anyway, that was one of the few sets from this sort of timeline that they did as well. So to get a set based around the Phantom Menace, it's quite nice, actually. I'm impressed with it. And it's just a shame that Phantom Menace sets like this one don't get as much appreciation now because LEGO have released numerous re-releases of various sets that we all know and various sets that are very popular but they don't do sets like this anymore. And it's a shame, really, because the concept of it, whilst not something that we, you would instantly go, oh, I know what we could do for a Lego set. Let's do something like this. The concept itself is actually quite novel. And I think fair play for going out of their box and doing something that not many people would have wanted them to have done. And I think now that I'm older and I can look past the glaring mistakes of the Phantom Menace and the prequel trilogy and seeing a set like this that is still quite affordable like I say you can pick it up on eBay I'm off I'm I'm a big fan of and I like the fact that it's taken me a chance to sort of see this and appreciate it a lot more because I hope I mean I very much doubt they ever will, but if LEGO were to redesign this and they were to re-release something like this, they don't deviate from the current design because I don't think the design itself is that bad at all. I think, yes, it's a little bit too um, out of scale with what was on screen, but as a display piece and a feature, 
I don't see what the issue is. I think it's very nice. Um, so overall, for a set that is almost seven years old and isn't something that many LEGO fans would gravitate towards, I am very much impressed with it. I'm glad that I took the punt when I saw it on eBay as I was scrolling through to look at what ideas I could do because I've, I've been in the mood for doing an older style set, so something from, say, 2015 or just maybe slightly before. I wanted to do something a little bit different and I'm glad that I took the plunge and got this set because I am a very big fan and it is one of the very few, if only... Um, Naboo and sort of Phantom Menace sets that I actually own because I started collecting again in about 2014, 2015. So this was about the time I started collecting, but I only collected small things. I didn't branch out and collect bigger and bigger and bigger things. So now that I've got room for this in my collection, I'm glad that I got it because the minifigure selection is very good. You've got three um, very interesting figures in tarpals, the security officer and the security guard. And you've got the two battle droids, which, as I say, stated at the start of the video, weren't classified as minifigures at the time. And it's up for contention now whether they are classified as minifigures now. I think they are, but other people would disagree with me on that one. And 312 pieces, very well used in the design of this and implementation. I would highly recommend, if you see this on eBay, which at time of recording, you can still get it on eBay, and it does vary between, say, 32 and 45 pounds on eBay at this moment in time. I would highly recommend that you get it. I mean, if you want Star Wars sets that aren't your run of the mill Star Wars sets that everybody's probably got in their collection and you want something a little bit different, pick it up because Phantom Many sets haven't been done since. We get so many other, you know re-releases of sets we've had countless times, something like this will probably never be made again. Or if it is, it'll be very, 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 very rare that they'll make it again. So definitely worth picking up, guys. Um, we are coming towards the end of the video now. So if you liked the um, Flash Beater and you have this in your collection or you are looking at getting this set and you want to see um, what it will look like in your collection, then please, please, please pick it up. Um, like I say, it's currently on eBay right now. Whether its price will change does vary a little bit. I can't predict these things, unfortunately. Um, so pick it up if you can, because it is definitely worth spending that little bit extra time and a little bit of extra money for, for something like this, because its price hasn't varied at all in nearly seven years. It, I got it for 32, it was 34.99, so you may pay between, say, two or three pounds extra to 10 pounds extra, which in the grand scheme of things, isn't a lot. So yeah, that's the end of the video, guys. Um, if you have any comments, questions, or queries about the set, please get in touch with me. Drop a comment in the comment section below. If you have this set and you really like it, if you're thinking of getting this set and you like it, if you have any other questions that I haven't covered in this video, please, please, please get in touch and I will answer them as best as I can for you. Um, hit the notification bell icon so you don't miss anything that I post. If you haven't liked and subscribed, please do so. I very much appreciate it. I try and answer to all the messages and feedback that I get off you guys. Um, there will be pictures of this on Instagram at the Galaxy of Bricks and you'll also find a brief snippet of it on my, on my TikTok at the Galaxy of Bricks. So keep it locked in because day four of the Brickathon is coming to an end. We've still got a few more days left. So keep, keep collecting, look after yourselves, and I shall see you all very soon. Take care, guys. Bye-bye now.